Jake is at Green Man Festival with his dad. So I thought I would come on a little staycation on my own. It's a bit of a different situation, this project, because I don't really have a client, which for me is like very exciting. No one gets to sign anything off. I can just do what I want. It's basically part of the open studios that I'm doing in September. So in September, um, my art studio is opening up to the public, but it's going to be like quite a large festival. So if you're around, you should definitely come. It's on like the 9th, 10th and 11th of September. Um, and as part of that, Haringey, so the local borough, agreed to let some of the artists paint some of the walls outside. Also, the site that I have got, it has like these obstructions. I'll put a video up on the screen. It has this electrical box and also this lamppost in the way. So we got to deal with that in the composition. So I thought over the next few days, I would kind of work something up. I know what my idea is. I know I want to do, um, I, I know the name of the piece before I know what the artwork is. I want to call it Angel of the North and I want it to be my own version of the, the Northern Angel of the North. I um, lived in Newcastle for a while but I want this to be like the angel of North London and I want it to be to like pay tribute to all the North London women who kind of inspire me and made me who I am so that's what I know I want to do yeah hopefully by the time I go home on Sunday I will have a mural design which will be great So this is what I'm working with. This is going, so we don't have to worry about ABC motors. But obviously we have this in the middle and this here. So compositionally, it's tricky. I use reference images when I do my illustrations because when I don't use references, my artwork look, tends to look more cartoony and it's not the vibe that I'm going for. So I use reference images. Um, and when you use reference images, you've got to be like careful about where you get your imagery from. So you don't have issues with like intellectual property. You don't want to rip off other artists. Um, so I use this website. It's called Pexels. And it's basically free stock photography, royalty free images and videos. So yeah, so I've just started um, looking through basically like women's poses to kind of think what kind of thing could work like something like this maybe seems really in a really interesting pose i like this i think this could work i'm loving this we will download this okay so i've popped just like a couple of these downloads in to just have a look at composition and it's proven a little bit tricky uh guys i might have just had a genius idea it might be an awful idea, it might be a genius idea. Um, what if I integrate the street furniture into the mural? Will it work? Will it not work? Let's have a sketch. Let me show you what I mean. Also, can you just have a look at this? This ridiculous creature. Let's continue. So I was doing this one illustration series a couple of years ago and it was images of like massive women in the city and I did this one of this woman in an alleyway and this woman of a woman in the tube and maybe my angel of the north of North London could be like on a skyline of some sort. So we have this like annoying situation here but what if... Okay, this is like super rough. Obviously. Don't judge me for this. But what if that becomes like part of a skyline? I could even just like cheekily like paint the box. I mean, who's going to come for me? Who's going to come for me, right? Does that make sense? Let me colour it in. That's, that's clearly the issue here. Okay. Something like that. What do you think? 
talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular, never the same, totally unique, completely not ever been done before, unafraid to reference or not reference, put it in a blender, shit on it, vomit on it, eat it, give birth to it. Good idea. I just went on Google Maps and pulled some like high street views from around Tottenham. We could paint this in a way that kind of feels like it fits in with this to integrate this street furniture, which is fucking annoying. Um, but you know, make it make it work. <laughs> this is a vibe. I'm loving it. I'm loving her like sitting on top of uh, the train, um, the bridge. And the perspective really reminds me of Alice in Wonderland. It's the next day. Oh my god, this light's gonna be crazy. Should I just. I decided that. I love that woman in that pose, but. It wasn't quite right like her her arms are like folded up and you can't really see her arms and so i thought i'm gonna recreate it so i can use my my body as a reference um so i took a few photos in the morning shuffling my body around to try and get the right movement and wearing different clothes i think what i what attracted me to that image was how like splayed out she was you very rarely see women splayed out like that in public and also i put on like a a crop top because again i've one of the things i've had with um a couple of clients when i've been painting murals or making artwork is that they've said that the women that i want to paint are too sexy um or they like um infer something sexual um and my argument is always like no they're not they're just women and like it's everyone else's perception that makes them sexual so I thought, well, this is a real opportunity, seeing as I don't have a, like an official client with this, to have like a woman's body sh on show in like an empowering way. Um, so yeah, so I have a crop top on. All the rolls are out. Who gives a... Anyway, it absolutely won't be my face, so it won't look like me. And so only you and me will know that this is actually based on my body. Don't tell anyone. Okay, so... I've put, I put my, I cropped this image and put it in and I was liking how it was working, but I was thinking, hmm, maybe I can adjust this leg, maybe the perspective of it. And then I also thought maybe it could like sit on this building, like when you're looking at a certain angle. So I did some edits, adjusted it so it's sitting on this building i was thinking it needs to obviously still work when you're standing behind the electrical box you don't want to look like it's just floating so behind the electrical box i popped a london bus so then i thought it could look like when you're in front of the electrical box it'll like look like she's got a leg on the box on well what we'll paint this like a building but when you walk behind have her leg up on this bus which i think would work really well and i'll work with the shadows to um, make that work and then I just also change the perspective of this leg so you kind of get more trainer out here Here we go. What do you think? I am enjoying it. I'm liking the composition. Obviously, it will kind of come more to life when I've got colours and shadows. Because you want to make it look like she's sitting on the bridge and that might need to be adjusted. And like shadows on here and stuff. But I think compositionally, it works really, it works well. 
I'm not sure, should it be daytime? Should it be nighttime? I need to think about cost of paint, how much paint I'll use, how easy things will be to paint. So that is now my next task, is to just play around with colour. I think it's looking good um I've still got like the sketch lines these are just to test colors out I think this works well so if I turn on that I still think this is a bit awkward this clash I might mm, I'm still not convinced about this but I think this could work quite well like if I paint this purple like a building as well day today I'm very excited because hopefully we're going to finish designing the mural today I have little Miss Honey Nut Loops here we've already been for our walk today that's all done it's a pretty miserable day so I'm gonna just chill inside and feel very cozy I am going to sit on that chair right there and draw and put below deck on that tv right there and the plan is for me to watch below deck the entire day whilst i draw do not judge me do not i can i can feel you judging me don't stop it it's a fantastic show Kind of getting there, got all the background to do, um, well half the background to do and work a lot more on the layers and stuff. Still watching Below Deck and um, Honey is still chilling here. is 6 30 and i think i have finished i've been working on it all day and i'm happy with how it's finished i think i keep on adding detail and i have to just keep on reminding myself this is not a digital illustration this is a mural and i just have to keep time in mind i'm also slightly worried with how many colors i have because of how much paint it means I'll need to buy but I think it's come together nicely. So here is the finished piece and yeah I'm really happy with it. I, I love the way that she's sort of just sprawled across the city across Tottenham. 
Um, so that's where the street furniture is positioned and I'm thinking I will, I don't know whether to ask permission or just try and beg for forgiveness with this, but I'm thinking I should paint um, the, the furniture so it kind of becomes part of the mural. Here, so paint the, the um, telephone, the electrical box in, you know, turn them into buildings and then paint this yellow. I moved her across as well because she was clashing slightly with this. There will have to be some toing and froing on site um because obviously as you move around um this position will change but hopefully at a certain position it will look like she's got her feet up on this um so yeah i was gonna add more sky detail and stuff and then i just had to be like hannah chill <laughs> I just had a lovely sunset walk with honey and I wasn't sure what to get because I fancied a drink but I didn't want a whole bottle of wine and I didn't fancy beer so I got myself a tiny little prosecco. Very excited. Might as well celebrate the fact that we finished the mural site. Oh my god, it's screw top. There's not even a pot. It was £3.50. Are we hopeful for this? Cheers. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Summer always lets down. 